What's happening, everyone? Welcome to G-Ball Vision. I hope you are doing awesome today. We have an exciting little unboxing to do for you guys. This comes from my favorite knife company on the planet, EMP EDC. And it's a goodie that I have wanted since the inception of the Magna Cut Relative from EMP EDC, but these were delayed and put back. So there was a little bit of a wait on these and it just so happened that they popped in stock and I was able to snag one. Now, this video is also going to entail a little bit of, oh yeah, always got some swiggity swag from old John. Shout out to John. Look at those. Best stickers in the game. Love EMP EDC stickers. And what we have, guys, is a Mokume. Uh, it's like a Mokume, I think it's titanium mixture pocket clip. I believe I'm not a hundred percent sure what Mokume exactly is. I could have sworn that I remember reading that it was some sort of Japanese culture thing to, to represent like wood grain or wood pattern using various metals. So there might not be titanium in this. Uh, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I know that it looks even better in person than it did in the pictures. This thing is absolutely beautiful. Look at that thing. Oh, let's slide those stickers out of the way just cause they might take away from... Oh my goodness. All right. Let's get into this. Let's get into this. I can't control myself. So it should be a T8 for the clip screw. Stanley Stubby. Great, great driver. No, it's not a fancy titanium or zirconium driver but what it is <clears throat> is a very great driver you can get a nice grip on this thing it stores bits for you so there is two different sizes the longer one will be in the back so that'll be this guy so i'm wondering should we since i'm going this far <laughs> since i went this far guys taking the pocket clip off should i disassemble this guy for the first time now if you do not know this is number 002, which is a pretty big deal. See that hidden in there? Number 002. Uh, out of the Magna Cut run, there was only one run. There will only be one run. And I have the second knife in that production. I'm guessing, and I've said this before, I'm guessing, but I think John has number one. But I could be wrong on that. I know he does keep, you know, some of each uh, for himself. And then I also know he keeps some for various, uh, you know, if somebody has a quality issue or something to that effect. 
Uh, now, not that he would have kept number one for that reason. I'm thinking because it was a brand new model in Magna Cut, it was, boy, look at that. That's dirty. Yeah, good thing we took this bad boy apart. Uh, I'm thinking he kept it for himself, right? I mean, I would have if I was him. I'm hoping... I don't know if he will. I'm sure he might someday. But I would love it if he came out with a Mok Mokume backspacer, you know, hardware type kit for the relative. I know that's probably his, you know, last worry is coming out with parts kits for these. I'm sure it's, you know, on his list of ideas and whatnot but getting designs out there getting knives into our hands and that sort of thing is going to most likely be his you know that's most likely his uh main objective look at that blade such a beautiful beautiful blade love this thing I, this is the first I've had it apart, so uh, because I when I got it, there was absolutely no reason to take this guy apart. It was just phenomenal. Uh, there you can see it. See that? Number 002, baby. Nobody else on... The Earth has number 002. And since the drop or since the pre-orders went out for the Magna Cut relatives, I have not heard anyone else say that they have number one. And I have not heard anyone else say that someone does have number one. So... It really leads me to thinking John has the number one. But even if he doesn't and someone else does, that's all right because I got number two. Look at that track. Such a great design. Great execution. So, so well done. I think that was face down, wasn't it? Face down. Boy, that washer does not want to come out of there. Get out of there. Probably because I have a half a bottle of oil in here. I have a huge problem putting, I'll put, you know, a drop on each side and then some time will go by and I'll forget if I did put some on there and I'll drop you know, another drop or whatever. And uh, believe it or not, depending, uh, the, the oil, the lube stays on there pretty good. Uh, you know, KPL, it stays on there pretty good. 
even the original formula, which is what I tend to use, you know, quite a bit. So we'll put that. So the D is down. The D is down. We'll leave that out. Wipe the washer off. I can see the track there. So we'll put it back so the track is facing out. Gonna have to do the same thing with this guy. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do in this video, but I feel like just putting the pocket clip on would have been too short. But we also know that my disassemblies, even though they're grade A, content, all that sort of thing, sometimes can take some time. You know, and I don't even do a crazy thorough, you know, I could get a lot more. My OCD has really settled down, especially since I had kids. But uh, there was a time where I would have cleaned this whole thing with a toothbrush. And I do have toothbrushes to clean these things. But uh, I can live without doing that. So, now we're ready to reassemble. We'll put some KPL. Just a dab. Just dab it up. Dabby, dabby. Okay. Okay. Put a little bit on your detent ball there. Just a little bit. That's too much. I said that's too much, guys. Make sure my lock bar is cleaned off. Put a little diggity dab on your bearing. How did these go towards the knife? These seem like pretty damn good bearings too, guys. So I got everything. Simple construction of such a beautiful elegant knife uh i love this thing the relative is one of my all-time favorite designs ever that includes all my emp edcs that includes every knife on the market uh the relative is just absolutely a stunning work of art aesthetically but also the build quality is just off the chart best tech who was responsible for having the relatives made you know not that best tech makes them in their own shop because they don't do such a thing they are responsible for you know making 
getting the knives made by the highest quality going where you know that is i don't know that many people know um what did i do oh it helps if you're in the pocket clip slot I always tell everyone, just double check your hardware. Make sure stuff is tight. Oh. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at that thing. Oh. Look at that shimmer in the light. And guys, if you think that looks good, the video is not doing it any justice. As far as I know, I have never seen anyone else offering Mokume as an aftermarket product. Now, not that I'm deep into aftermarket options for all knives, but Tamascus and Zerkutai and Zirconium and that are very popular. I know they're there is other Mokume out there, but this is, he, John is always trying to be ahead of the game, and he just does such a phenomenal job. That Mokume goes so, so good with the rest of the knife. The uh, accents to this knife are like a brass almost uh and there's hints of brass or a yellow gold in the pocket clip so it just really goes together very well and i love emp edc's pocket clips in my opinion not only are they aesthetically pleasing but they work very very well you have a nice ramp there Lots of room under the pocket, and they're very ergonomic. I love how they feel in hand. You do not even feel the pocket clip at all. It's perfect. Perfect design, perfect execution, perfect aftermarket accessories. I hope he comes out with some Moku Tai pivot collars and backspacers. Now, would I change the backspacer? I don't know. Because of it being 002, you know, doesn't take away that it's, you know, still not 002, but I don't know. We'll have to see. He doesn't have them yet, but maybe someday he will, and maybe someday I will buy it. I probably will. But. That'll wrap it up for this one, guys. If you want to check out more content from G-Ball Vision, you can click here on this video or this video. I highly recommend checking out this video right here. It's a doozy. If you are new and not subscribed, click the G-Ball Vision logo. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, I will catch you on the next one.